Now to a developing story in Brooklyn. A police officer and two innocent bystanders were shot in the subway after the NYPD opened fire on a suspect they say was armed with a knife. Lisa Rosner is at the scene in Brownsville. Jessica, police say this all started when the suspect evaded the fare here at the Sutter Avenue station. Two officers told him to stop multiple times, but when they noticed he had a knife, things escalated quickly. Just after 3 p.m. Sunday, surveillance video shows police rushing to the elevated L train platform where the NYPD chief of department says an officer opened fire on a suspect, but also accidentally struck were the officer's partner and two civilians. Everyone is running. The NYPD says the officers pulled out their guns after their tasers didn't work on the suspect who has more than 20 prior arrests. This is the knife police say the suspect had, and he allegedly wouldn't listen to commands. He uh, mutters the words. You know, I'm going to kill you if you don't stop following me. The male basically challenges the officers, no, you're going to have to shoot me. As they're standing there, a train, a, a northbound train pulls into the station. At one point, he says the cops and suspect got on the train, but then returned to the platform where the suspect advanced on one of the officers with his knife. The NYPD says that's when both officers fired multiple rounds. Exclusive video shows a man in handcuffs on the floor of the train car who appears to be the suspect. While they're subduing him, one of the officers realized that he's hit as well. He helped his partner put the man in handcuffs, and when they saw where the man was wounded, they started performing life-saving life measures. One of the victims who was on, on, the, on the train was struck in the head, and another victim, male victim, and the female victim was, uh, uh, was grazed. Police say the woman is in stable condition, and a 49-year-old man is in critical condition. The officer was shot in the chest near the armpit, the bullet missing his vest. He's at Brookdale Hospital and is expected to recover. Police say the suspect was struck numerous times in the abdomen. We're just again praying that no, there's no loss of life, and that's the main thing. We see the National Guard, but we don't see them in Brooklyn. The MTA says in addition to police body cameras, there are also cameras on the mezzanine and the platform here, which will help in the investigation. The suspect has not yet been identified. In Brownsville, Brooklyn, Lisa Rosner, CBS News, New York.